Hey, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video, checking out iOS 14 beta 2 today. It's out for developers. Now, if you wanna look for the public beta, it's not here just yet. So keep waiting. Apple said it is coming sometime in July, but still the only official way to get your hands on this is through a beta. And in this beta, beta 2 for iOS 14, Apple's added a lot of cool stuff, new icons, new widgets, and a ton of other goodies in between. So if you guys are excited for the video, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more. Let's take a look at all the new changes and features in the update. Right off the bat, let's start with this one. I have no idea why this is a feature, but somebody over on Reddit found that you can't install new iOS 14 updates. Yeah, if you're playing audio. Um, I mean, I don't know why Apple couldn't just cut it like they always have. I don't know. I think this one's kind of, kind of goofy. I hope it's a bug because I, I don't actually understand any reason why you couldn't update. So, I mean, just watch out. If you guys are playing music, so looking at things like this, you're gonna say, wait a minute, you're using clickbait. There are no icon changes. You're making this stuff up. Well, let me show you here, Buster, before you get uh, all riled up. There are actually a couple here. First is the calendar icon. I'm gonna flash what the old one looked like up on screen just so you can get a little before and after, but yes, it's different. It's abbreviated Tuesday, and I think the number in the in the middle is a little bit more bold than it was before. And speaking of things being a little bit more bold, well, let's take a look at the new clock icon as well. Another comparison just to, to go ahead and help you out here, but the hands are ever so slightly thicker, and I think the numbers could be thicker as well. So those are the two icon changes. I know, it's not the iOS uh, 14 UI icon redesign we were hoping for, but they are subtle and they're here. And next up, let's continue with these comparisons because I think this makes it most easy to see. You'll notice immediately the reminders and notes widgets are a little bit different. So not only is there a background behind emojis on the reminders icon for the iOS 14 beta 2 update, also notes, there's a new folder icon. Honestly, I, I totally preferred the old one. I love the translucency in it. For some reason, uh, they decided to, to make it a little bit less translucent, and they've done this in a lot of places around the operating system. You're gonna notice as well when you go into home right here, again, on iOS 14 beta 2 in my right hand, they've made it very legible, but there's something I really dig about this translucent design. It's like, you know, I, I get you guys are doing design changes, but are they in the right place? places, and this has also been a little bit different. These squares are a bit larger in beta 2. In iOS 14 beta 2, some users are seeing larger home icons in Control Center. So for example, I don't see it here on my iPhone 11, but on my iPad Pro, I am seeing it. So you may see a larger icon right there that could expand into favorites. Otherwise, you might just see what you're used to seeing from the get-go. Next up, this one is huge. You no longer have to only use Apple Music on the HomePod. It seems Spotify will finally be supported. This comes courtesy of Matt over on Twitter right here. And you can see primary service, it's editable. Um, I mean, which is a huge deal. Like the HomePod has been locked down for three plus years. The fact that they're finally opening it up is uh, is a great sign of things to come. Apple is still going to add a clock widget in the future, it just isn't here in beta two yet. However, you do have access to a brand new files widget and you can actually edit more than just this view. I believe there's a larger one as well. Just go into your widgets UI picker and then if you scroll down, you can find files now. And look, there are two options. One is the one I've got on my home screen now, pretty tiny, pretty compact. And then this one, which just has a ton of stuff all at once. I mean, and you can see there's really not a great place to put it on my home screen. But by far my favorite tweak to widgets in this update is that this button changes color based on what widget you're looking at. So whether for some reason, I thought it'd pick blue, it picked black. But for example, if I tap on podcasts, you can see it now color matches to purple. And you're gonna find this pretty much everywhere for news. It's gonna pick the news icon right there. If you go down even further, let's say for batteries. Oh, look, it's green like that. I mean, it's really subtle, but I'm a huge, Fan. It doesn't work in every single area, but in most of them, they're updated now, and they just look fantastic. So you can see in calendar right here, it color matches to red. Let me know what you guys think about this one down below. And running out the widget stuff, you've got small, you've got medium, and now on iOS 14 beta 2, you have large. So for the first time ever, if you want just a giant photo on uh, on your lock screen that, that sort of rotates out, I mean, you can do that if, if you wanna do that. It's just really big. Inside of any app that requires location services and you've turned them off and the app is trying to get to them, it's gonna give you this new banner up here at the top. And then if you tap on that, you do get this notification right here. It's like, hey, you could turn it on right now because that's really what we want, or you can keep it turned off. Uh, and eventually, I think if you go back into the app yet again, 
it'll change in appearance after a while to be a little bit more subtle than super bright blue. This isn't actually a new feature in beta 2, but if you go into jiggle mode right here, everybody's favorite mode on the iPhone, and then click on this, click like we're on an iPhone. If you tap on that, you can actually edit and hide home screen pages. I didn't know this was a feature until just now. Uh, you can actually hide it. So like if I go back in here, uncheck it, and then hit done, it's gone, but it's not in the app library. So it'll actually remove this stuff from there. So you have to go back into jiggle mode, tap on that again, and then re-enable it to see it. So like your apps are still there, you're just hiding that page, which is something that uh, I didn't know was in iOS 14, but again, not new, particularly in this beta. In the app library on iOS 14 beta 2, you now have the option to delete things immediately. Before, you just had to remove and then tap on delete. Now you can just tap delete right from here. It's essentially the same number of steps, but the text is a little bit different. And you'll also see this reflected on the home screen. If I uh, tap and hold on something like this, it will now say remove app in both places, but this text is a little bit different. In iOS 14 beta 2, it says remove from home screen, which will add it to the app library, but this just says directly add to library. Inside of the music app, Apple has made some awesome changes to playing stuff. So when you actually tap on this or tap skip, rewind, fast forward, it's got haptic feedback. So obviously that's not something I can demonstrate, but just imagine, you know, a little bit of haptic force when you're pressing, really subtle, uh, it doesn't overwhelm me at all, and it's a nice touch. I hope we see more haptic feedback in other parts of the operating system. And also in the music app on the Now Playing page, I think you have to question where you are in life if you wanna disable this, but you can see the animated background right here. It used to only be in the lyrics view, now it's uh, on the main Now Playing page, but for some reason, if it's bothering you or you just don't like it, you can actually head over to Settings now to fix things up. So just head over to Settings, scroll all the way down to Music, and there's a brand new tab in here for Motion. You can turn it off, so that'll just give you something more standstill, um, which is cool, I guess, but just not as cool. And there's also the option to enable it on Wi-Fi only as well, as it does say it actually will have some effect on your battery life, or if it doesn't have your network connection stable, so you got that option too. And in music, when viewing an album right here, you can see it's less spacey and more organized. It seems like they made everything proper again. There was like this random link space on beta one where it's like, hey, what are you guys doing out there? So now you can actually view things as, a, as they should be viewed in beta two. Nice to see Apple is putting in the hard work for big changes and small changes alike. Also music, there's a tweaked tab bar right here. Somebody put this very nice GIF together over on Reddit. So thank you for this. You can see in beta two, things move around just a little bit. Some things get bigger, some things get smaller. No idea what Apple's you know, methodology was. But I mean, you, you can clearly tell there is some big brain stuff happening here that we just didn't have in beta one. Next up, inside of weather, Apple's made a couple changes in beta two as well. They slightly tweak this bar and what it says down here. So it says more data from the weather channel. Now it doesn't seem like that data is coming from the weather channel any longer. And if you scroll down even further at the very bottom before we just say that's the weather for your area now because apple acquired dark sky it says the exact street because that was a feature from dark sky so again sort of bringing the weather app in parity with dark sky even though i still feel like this design needs a lot of work like whether you're on beta one or beta two it's just a lot to look at at once. I wish there was like an expand area or some way to collapse this. And I was 14 beta 2 here on the right. You can see there's a brand new family sharing icon. And you can actually see this reflected in the next panel on both operating systems, interestingly. So like you get the same image whether you're on beta 1 or beta 2 here, although it's clearly optimized for beta 2. But yeah, that's a closer look at the new icon. For iCloud paste notifications right here, you can see the banner is a little bit smaller on I was 14. I know it went away, so let me give you a, uh, a standstill image so you can actually see what's actually actually happening. And iOS 14 beta 2 also specifies which device. So it just used to say pasted from another iCloud device, but now you know exactly where you're pasting from. So it says specifically from Sam's MacBook Pro. And it's a 16 inch model, by the way. Inside of the fitness app, whenever you're trying to view some more information about your day, this is how it looked in beta one. And then on your right, I'm gonna flash a screenshot of how it currently looks in beta two. I would show you in person, but I don't have my Apple Watch connected to my iPhone with iOS 14 beta two. So uh, shout out to this user over on Reddit who shared it initially. Inside of phone preferences in iOS 14 beta one, here's how things look, but it's been updated with some fresh icons in beta two, one green one, and one red one. I mean, we might as well call this one Christmas. This one you gotta really zoom in on uh, and intently focus on to see. It's a revamped charging icon on iOS 14 beta two. So on the top is beta one, 
on the bottom is beta 2 and you can see that the the top one is a bit more beta than the bottom i like the more rounded edges i like the way it looks and it appears the icon could be ever so slightly bigger out here so i mean really getting down to the detail here but i mean that charging icon you better watch out because it's back and better than ever i'm really digging picture in picture in ios 14 obviously you can use youtube and safari to make that work and then let me tap on it here on ios 14 beta 2 before if i double tap you can see you only got two sizes you're looking at mcdonald's you get the large fry or you got the small fry but i've always asked where is the medium fry i want my medium fry so you can double tap once oh look at that double tap twice go to large this is a really cool feature again somebody found this over on reddit because i mean i don't even know how you test for this one or find it but it's really cool because there is that in between size that i feel like i would find myself using way more than super small or super big but you got the option for all three now in ios 14 beta 2. next up in reminders beta 2 actually goes in a further wrong direction for the date and time picker you know how you have to like type in the exact uh thing you want now it's very i'm not used to it that's all i can say about that well in beta one you still had the old picker and reminders i was like okay so you know maybe i wasn't fully set but now like every single place on your iphone it's got this new picker so um you know pour one out for this because it's making me sad out here i miss the old picker a lot and it doesn't seem like apple is going to be bringing it back on ios 14 beta 1 when you have an app offloaded it doesn't actually tell you that it's not on your phone if you're in this ui right here which is like the list view inside of the app library and ios 14 beta 2 it does let you know that that is offloaded and you do actually have to download it before it starts up. So it's just clear to know what's on your device and what's not. In iOS 14, Safari offers a new tracking or privacy report. And before the websites obviously worked, but now for trackers themselves, you can see it's enabled in iOS 14 beta 2. So before it's like, you're gonna be out here you know, you're gonna be tapping for a minute, and you're gonna get frustrated, and you're gonna try again. It's never gonna work on beta one, so it's actually enabled in the first place on beta two. Now, next up for bug fixes and improvements, I can tell you right off the bat that iOS 14 beta two obviously feels better than beta one, and beta one already felt really good. But just a couple I want to cover here because they were kind of annoying is like in the widget picker right here on beta one, you would see that icon a lot. That's been completely fixed, and widgets in general feel even better than they did in beta one. The wallpaper view inside of settings has been corrected as well, so. So beta 1 would often show these icons right here. Now in beta 2, you can see exactly what you're looking at. You know, maybe we don't want the largest weather icon of all time. It also seems to me that iOS 14 beta 2 fixes the wallpaper saturation bug. And this is something that's been happening on the iPhone for a long time. I'd love to hear your guys' feedback down below. But have you noticed sometimes when you update your iPhone, the wallpaper seems a bit faded. It doesn't seem to pop out at you as much. I've noticed in beta 2, it appears to be more crisp than it has. This one discovered by 9to5Mac is hidden inside of iOS 14 beta 2 currently, but it shows that in the future, you'll be able to use Apple Pay to make payments with QR codes. And you can see, if you zoom in on this a little bit further, that, uh, well, there are some different barcodes on there. One is like a standard, one is a QR code, and then it's obviously telling you to hold your phone near it. So Apple is working on this. It's not available yet but it will probably be coming sometime later this year to iOS 14. If any other changes are discovered, I'll be sure to update the blog post over on my website. So before you click off the video, check over on the post, and who knows, you might have seen a couple of things there that I didn't talk about in the video because, you know, you can't edit a video once it's on YouTube. All right, that's all for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. If you did, drop a like down below and hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam, and I'll catch you in the next video.